Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Sharifon. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you. This will be a jaw-dropping miracle. I'm so certain about this prophetic word and I'm certain about the testimonies that will come from this word. This will be a jaw-dropping miracle. There is about to be a miraculous debt cancellation. There is about to be a miraculous debt cancellation. You see, God is about to intervene in someone's life. This person, you have a huge debt, or maybe not huge, but a debt that has been on your heart. A certain debt that has weighed you down, and you've been trusting God to pay that debt. You've been trusting God to meet up to your commitments about this particular debt. But the Lord is about to perform a miracle for this person. How will this happen? I don't know. But what I know is that it will be a miracle that you will testify because as of right now you don't have the money and you don't know where you can get this money from you see but what i need you to do is believe that this will happen because the bible says as a man thinketh in his heart so is he as a man thinks so shall it be if you think that this miracle will happen for you then you will testify but you begin to think that it will not happen or you begin to calculate or you begin to think that how will it happen now nah? you, 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 you are going to miss it if you begin to look at the impossibilities before you and decide to doubt on this word you're going to miss it you see there's a story in the Bible in the book of 2 Kings where a certain country there was famine in the land so bad that women were eating their children yes literally women began to eat their children they would bet on killing their children let's kill mine on the first day kill yours on the second day it was that bad women were betting on when to kill their children to eat so they can survive and and, and, and because of that it was so bad that the king got so mad. The king got mad when he heard that women were eating their children to survive because of the famine. So when the king got mad, he sent his messenger. He sent his chief advisor to the, to the, to the prophet. And as of this time, the prophet was Elisha. So he sent his messenger to the prophet to ask the prophet what is the Lord saying to ask the prophet a prophetic word concerning the situation of that land? Guess what? The, 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 the messenger gets there, and the prophet, prophet Elisha, gives a prophetic word to him. And then, when the messenger hears the word, he says, Impossible. Because Elisha tells the prophet that by this same time tomorrow, God says there is going to be abundance, so much abundance that food will be impossible. He said, It's impossible. Even if God were to open windows from heaven, what you are saying can never Yes, it was doubt. The word of the prophet was doubt because he was looking at the situation on ground. He was looking at the impossibilities before he opened the windows of heaven. He not but he will not specify, but he will not hold life. It will not happen for you. And exactly the problem, the abundance. But the man without it missed it. You see, we humans, when we, about, we turn to believe what we see, hear, and feel. Many of us, we live by the dictates of our sight, our feelings, our ears. And it makes us to miss the things that God wants to do in our life. Even the Bible says the just man shall live by faith. That is what the Bible says. The just man shall live by faith. If you can just believe and say, Lord, have your way, you're going to receive a miraculous death cancellation. This will be a jaw-dropping miracle. I pray, if I pray, that by the mercy of God, you be among the thousands of people that will testify. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. I love you. Shalom.